preferential dividend is how much preferential dividend is 10 rupees your net proceeds will be how much net proceeds will be 102.9 maturity value will be 100 into 5 percent it is 105 rupees and the net proceeds is how much net proceeds is 100 rupees no flotation cost case b remains same but the net proceeds will be 100 rupees for case b so rest of the things remains the same hello everybody i'm your divya ma'am assistant professor from department of commerce and management lecturing with yashram first grade college mysuru the temple of excellence I welcome you all for the session 7 on your unit 1 cost of capital. So in the last class we have completely discussed about the problems on redeemable debenture, irredeemable debentures, so all the problems before tax and after tax has been solved and we have also discussed the market value calculation. In today's class let us look into the problems on preference shares, problems on irredeemable preference shares and problems on redeemable preference shares. So both the calculation will be doing it in the today's class. What is the formula of irredeemable preference shares? That is preferential dividend divided by net proceeds. So this is the formula. So cost of preference is equal to preferential dividend divided by net proceeds. So this is the formula. So let us read out the question. Zen company has issued 1000 shares, 10 percent preference shares of rupees 100 each find out the cost of preference shares if it is issued at par 5% premium and 2% discount transaction cost is constant in all cases that is 2% and ignore the taxes so at par at premium and at discount calculation to be done so issued at par the first calculation is what issued at par what is given preferential dividend is given so 10 percent into 100 rupees it is 10 rupees so your dividend is what 10 rupees net proceeds is rupees 100 that is issuing and minus 2 percent is the flotation cost we have 2 percent is the transaction cost we have so transaction cost 2 percent so 100 into 2 percent it is 2 rupees 98 rupees will be the net proceeds so preferential dividend is 10 rupees divided by 98 the answer you get is 0 0.1020 or it is 10.2 percent so this is issued at par calculation now issued at premium calculation only the premium value changes rest remains the same so preferential dividend is how much preferential dividend is 10 rupees your net proceeds will be how much net proceeds will be 102.9 deducting all the transaction cost so 100 into 5 percent it will be 5 rupees 105 rupees will be the net proceeds into 2 percent is the transaction cost that is 2.1 rupees so 102.9 is the net proceeds we get so if you substitute the answer 10 divided by 102.9 it is 9.7 percent now the next calculation issued at a discount the only is the only changes we can see is what the discount what is the discount percentage two percent is the discount so when we are issuing we are issued at a discount 100 into 2 percent 98 will be the net proceeds on that 98 rupees if you take up the transaction cost that is two percent you will get 1.96 your net proceeds will be how much 96.8 Zero 04. So preferential dividend remains the same. 10 divided by 96.04, the answer you get is 10.4%. So this is the calculation of what? That is irredeemable preference shares. My dear students, how will you get to know whether it is a redeemable problem or a irredeemable problem? So 
when the number of years is given in the question it is redeemable problem and number of years is not given it is irredeemable problem so in this question tax rate is ignored so it is irredeemable problem what is the formula preferential dividend divided by net proceeds so in a single problem itself i have shown you all the calculation of issued at par issued at a premium and at a discount so let us look into the next problem next we have a company issues 20000 10% preference shares of rupees 100 each after 10 years number of years is given in the question number of years is given in the question what is the number of years 10 years okay and what is the interest 10% is the dividend preferential dividend is 10% on 100 rupees so it will be 10 rupees at a premium of 5% so while redeeming it they are redeeming at a 5% premium so maturity value will be 100 into 5% it is 105 rupees and the net proceeds is how much net proceeds is 100 rupees next the cost of issue is 2 rupees at a premium of 5% the cost of issue is 2 per share net proceeds is 100 rupees and while issuing the cost is there rupees 2 so it will be 98 rupees so what is the formula for redeemable preference shares cost of preference shares is equal to preferential dividend plus maturity value minus net proceeds divided by number of years whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds divided by 2 so we have got all the values let us substitute all the values and check out the answer preferential dividend is how much preferential dividend is 10 rupees plus maturity value is 105 minus 98 divided by number of years is 10 years whole divided by 105 plus 98 divided by 2 so let's use the calculator and check out the answer So hundred and five minus ninety eight, it is seven. Seven plus ten, it is seventeen. Ten point seven. So if you calculate the first part, that is hundred and five minus ninety eight, it is seven divided by ten, it is zero point seven plus ten. If you add, it is Ten point seven divided by hundred and five plus ninety eight divided by two, it is one zero one point five. So ten point seven divided by one zero one point five, the answer you get is zero point one zero. That is again ten point five percent. So this is the answer you get. That is. irredeemable problem we have done in the first problem redeemable problem we are solved in the second problem and in the third problem again we have a irredeemable problem a company has a capital structure which has preferred stock carried at 8% dividend of rupees 15 lakh so on 15 lakh you need to take that 8% dividend so 15 lakh into 8% that will be the dividend so issued to the public of 5000 preference shares there was a flotation cost of 10% the company decided to redeem at the end of 10th year so the value is not given here a company has issued a capital structure which has preference stock 8% is the dividend of rupees 15 lakh so net proceeds will be how much 15 lakh on that 8% if we do it 15 lakh into 8% it is 1 lakh 20000 So one lakh twenty thousand is the dividend, preferential dividend. Next, there was a flotation cost of ten percent. So fifteen lakh into ten percent, it is one lakh fifty thousand. So fifteen lakh minus one lakh fifty thousand, it is thirteen lakh. Fifty thousand. So thirteen lakh fifty thousand is the net proceeds, and while redeeming. 
after 10 years they have redeemed number of years is 10 years but they have redeemed at a par itself that is 15 lakh maturity value also will be 15 lakh so let us substitute the values to the formula what is the formula cost of preference is equal to preferential dividend plus maturity value minus net proceeds divided by number of years whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds divided by 2. So what is the preferential dividend? Preferential dividend is 1,20,000. Next add maturity value is how much? 15 lakh minus 13 lakh 50,000 divided by number of years is 10 years whole divided by 15 lakh minus 13 lakh 50,000 divided by 2. So if you do it, let's check the answer. So 15 lakh minus 13 lakh 50,000, it is 1 lakh 50,000 divided by 10, it is 15,000 plus 1 lakh 20,000, it is 1 lakh 35,000 divided by, let's calculate this, this is plus 15 lakh plus 13 lakh 50,000, it is 28 lakh 50,000 divided by 2, it is 14 lakh 25,000. 14 lakh 25,000. So 1 lakh 35,000 minus 14 lakh 25,000. It is 0 0.0947. 0 0.0947. If you convert it into percentage, it is 9.4%. So this is how you calculate. Moving forward, we have problem number 4. I'll make you all understand the problem number 4 in a very easy way. Listen to me carefully. T Limited issues 1 crore 12% preference shares of rupees 100 each. Net proceeds is 100 each. 12% debenture, the 12% preference shares. So 12% preference shares means it is 12 rupees is the preferential dividend. Redeemable at par after 5 years. So after 5 years, number of years is 5 years. So issued at a par 100 rupees, redeemed at a par 100 rupees. Calculate the cost of preferences in which each of the following cases. We need to calculate 4 calculations. So 4 calculations need, need to be done. A, B, C and D. So four calculations are there. So what is the first case? If preference shares are issued at par with flotation cost 5%. 5% is the flotation cost. What is the first case you need to solve? First case A, what is given in the question? Interest is given. Dividend is given 12 rupees. Net proceeds is given 100 rupees. Maturity value, they are redeeming at a par itself. That's why 100 rupees remains the maturity value. Number of years is 5 years, but the flotation cost is 5%. So 100 minus 5 rupees, that is 95 will be the net proceed. So that is calculation of preference shares issued at a par with flotation cost. First case, you need to calculate and this will be the answer. So it's a homework for y'all. So you need to calculate. I have teaching y'all the what is given in the question. So substitute the values and find out the answer. Moving forward, we have case B. If preference shares are issued at par with no flotation cost, no flotation cost, case B remains same, but the net proceeds will be 100 rupees for case B. 
so rest of the things remains the same that is case b calculation if preference shares are issued at par with no flotation cost the answer remains 12% you all need to check out next we have is a preference shares are issued at 10% premium with 5% flotation cost while issuing they are issuing at a premium so only net proceeds changes rest of the calculation remains the same so what is the net proceeds net proceeds is 10% premium means 110 rupees is the net proceeds value 5% flotation cost what is the issuing cost 100 rupees 100 into 5% flotation cost 5 rupees so if you deduct 105 will be the net proceeds so rest all the information remains the same only in case of net proceeds the calculation differs that is the case c and when so we solve it, the answer you get is 10.85%. Moving forward, next we have is, if preference shares are issued at 10% discount with 5% flotation cost. So flotation cost remain the same, 5 rupees and it's the constant for all the cases. But discount is there. So for case D, net proceeds changes. What is it? Net proceeds, 10% discount, 100 minus 10 it is. 90 rupees now 90 minus 5 rupees it is 85 so 85 rupees is the net proceeds for the case that is d if preference shares are issued at 10 percent discount with 5 percent flotation cost so when you're doing your calculation it will be 16 percent so my dear students kindly note down when you are calculating the expenses it should always be on the face value should always be on what on the face value issuing value that is 100 rupees not on the premium or at discount so it should be always on the issuing value so on if you are issuing at a premium on that value you need to take down so that is the answer so you will get the answer as 16 percent so next class issued at a par with flotation cost of 5 percent that is the calculation in the next class we will take up the problems on cost of equity capital when the growth rate is not given the formula will be cost of equity is dividend divided by net proceeds or market price and when both net proceeds and market price is given in the uh, problem, you need to consider only market price. If there is growth oriented dividend, the growth oriented dividend is their formula changes. Cost of equity is equal to dividend plus growth divided by net proceeds or market price. So the formula differs. So cost of equity is another important component of capital structure where cost of retained earnings is equal. Cost of equity is equal to cost of retained earnings. So whatever cost you get for cost of equity, it is similar to the cost of retained earnings. So that's it uh, for today's class. Hope the session was very interesting and fruitful. Smile is the biggest jewel you can wear people. Keep smiling. Thank you.